tell you down by the water with your friends singing like the setting sun up. I'm from Portland originally and I guess the largest way that it influenced my music is in the Northwest everybody gets an excuse to stay inside because it's rainy for the entire year so it gives I think it gives all of us probably four extra months to stay inside and write that other people don't have when they're out enjoying the weather. Usually there is one line that sort of holds every song together. That might not always be the first line that I write, but once I have that line, everything sort of sprawls out from there. Does it fade away? Does it fade away? We went out uh, with Counting Crows this summer, which was great, um, and they had covered one of my songs for their new record, which is also great. A lot of the Stuff that makes me feel rewarded though is just being able to play with other musicians that I've looked up to for a long time or to have made so many close friends. And I felt the street getting hotter, like the end, like the barrel of a loaded gun. Steve Earle speaks to me musically. Uh, Sharon Jones speaks to me musically. I don't know if it would surprise people. I listen to a lot of hip hop. I listen to a lot of most F. Uh, I really love The Roots. I really love Blue Scholars. Uh, bands like that. People who care enough about music still to this day search it out and they find something that they connect with and that's how you build a fan base that'll last with you throughout your career and sustain you. You know, you might not ever reach a million people, but if you can reach 10,000 very loyal people, then they'll be with you for the entirety of your career. I'm